Holly Coop here with Catherine Ryan. How are you? You've just done a gig at Leeds Fest. Yes, thank you so much for coming to it and bringing your beautiful trivial pursuit game. <laughs> well, you've got to keep yourself entertained at these things. Yeah, yeah, I'm entertained already. I haven't even begun. <laughs> And you just finished the Fringe as well, how did that go? Yes, um, I was up at the Edinburgh Fringe just for a half run at the stand, which was perfect. I think everything in half makes you want more. So <laughs> I'll be up next year for sure, and I don't know, I don't know if I, if I have the uh, gumption for a full run. I've been spoiled now with a little <laughs> holiday. I always say it's cheating, because people are like, oh, your show's sold out. And No, but I'm cheating, it's cheating, <laughs> it's not sold out, it's half. Half is, half is good though. Yeah. So, Catherine Ryan, would you like to Trivial Pursuit yourself? Not really, because I'm not good at the game, but I am always up for trying something new. <laughs> so I roll. I roll away. What have we got? Green, which is science. Oh, good. <laughs> if you could, which part of the animal kingdom would you join? Which part of the animal kingdom? Um, I think I might be a primate, because then I, it's almost what I am now. <laughs> and I'm an attachment parent. I'm all about like monkey mothering and carrying your babies for okay. as long as you can. Yeah. And people always say, oh, you know, it's, it's really a struggle to stay healthy when you're a mom. And, and, but the universe has given you this resistance weight. It's a tiny baby and then it gets heavier and heavier. If you just lift it, you'll always be a really powerful, strong mom. Fantastic. I, yeah, so I'm a monkey mom. Yeah. Is that what you meant by Animal Kingdom? <laughs> Why not? It, there are no yeah. wrong answers in Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> I know from uh, some of your stand up that one of the uh, strong mothers you look up to is Beyonce as well. Yes, I love Beyonce. And I think, I think right now she's in the papers with all this cheating scandal. Allegedly, oh, really? Jay Z might be cheating on her. Yeah. Oh, okay. For years that has been kind of whispered about but none of these alleged mistresses are in jail for defamation <laughs> defamation though one of them is dead one wow. of them died of natural causes <laughs> the day before she was to go to the newspapers and talk about her affair with Jay-Z wow. and it's just a funny world and I know these celebrities are entitled to their privacy but I think Beyonce represents so much for so many women she's really successful and really smart and really poised and really powerful and then you think oh something like that's going on mm. Ugh, what chance have we got I was going to say no one is safe if Beyonce allegedly. is getting allegedly we better stick that word in would you like to roll again mm-hmm. uh, yellow yellow that is history and all my top hits <laughs> Okay, so this is the year randomizer. So this could be in this lifetime or the past lifetime. So the year that's picked out is 1920. What were you doing in 1920? Ooh. It would have been definitely a past life. Um, I believe this thing, it's not funny, but um, one of my aunties is a midwife and she had this really, she's seen a lot of people be born, a lot of people die. And she um, believes that at the end of your life, you get to choose where your energy goes so you and you choose based on the people you've known in your life hmm. so you know sometimes you meet people who are really emotionally mature or they feel as though they've been yeah. here before and then other people are just balanced <laughs> it's as though all the people in your life have chosen you just to sprinkle a little you can't put too much energy into any one person and overtake them hmm. but I think that's a really nice way to think about um, life and afterlife so I think part of me anyway would be still in my family. I don't know how to answer that. I'd love to think that I was also that one of my like great cooks from Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd love to think that a little bit of one of my nanas yeah. was a little bit of me. Ah, I like that. I don't know. That's a good answer. No, I'm happy with that. Right, would you like to roll one more time? Yeah. Pink. That is entertainment. Oh, a therapeutic way you can relax. Ooh. Um, I have too many animals. So I was going to say, oh, you should have pets, but no, they really wind me up. I have too many dogs, too many rabbits. Um, my favorite thing to do, no matter what time I get home at night, and I do get home really late sometimes during stand-up, um, I always put the telly on and watch it in bed. And for years, I had a partner who didn't believe in a TV in the bedroom. Yeah, he was like, oh, it's bad for you when you sleep. And we had never had a microwave or anything. But, so now I'm alone, and now I'm like, yeah, I just got this telly right above the bed and I love I love trash TV or even 
redeemable, you know, wonderfully uh, produced BBC program. <laughs> I love to watch telly, and that's meditating to me because it's this quiet time. Yeah. And you don't have to think because the show is doing all the thinking for you mm. every single night. That's my favorite, most favorite thing to do. Fantastic. Yeah. That's. That's unbelievable, though, that he doesn't believe in the TV. I know. It's wrong. wrong. Well, it might be right. I mean, I do this uh, multi-platform engagement now, Mm -hmm. as it's called, where you've got your iPad, you've got your phone, you've got the laptop, and you've got a tally on. That's messed up. I mean, (laughs) I think our attention spans are so short now. (laughs) Multi-platform engagement. If you say it like that, you sound a little bit cleverer than it really is. Then it's just, I can't, I need to stroke things all the time. Yeah, yeah. And a rabbit. Brilliant. Right, would you like to tell us about your tour that's coming up? Um, I am going on my second UK tour in the autumn with a new show called Glam Roll Model. Glam Roll Model. <laughs> but um, my accent was really off today in the show. I don't know what's going on. I've been in Scotland too long. I couldn't do the, <laughs> the Glam Model. But everybody thinks the show's called Glam Role Model, mm. which implies I think I'm a role model or I think I'm glamorous. I'm neither of those things. Right. But it's more about um, celebrity as a religion and the impact that mainstream glamour models mm. are having on the UK's young girls because it's not something we have in Canada. We do not have glamour <laughs> models. So it's just a cult it's been a culture shock mm. for me to move here. But I've been here seven years now, so I'm kind of a a British comic, but I'm still adjusting to some of your crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I think yeah, no, that sounds great. So where where are the tours? When does it start? Um, the tour starts in Bristol on the 25th of September, and then it goes until the middle of December. So it's kind of everywhere. Now I say everywhere, and then someone in Fife is gonna email <laughs> and go, "We we are everywhere," but I don't go that. I don't go yeah. further north than Aberdeen. I think. Okay. But um, but everywhere that I can go, and if I'm not coming to your town, maybe tweet me and we'll see if we can come. Oh, that's a good compromise. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Catherine Thank you so much for seeing me, Holly.